Hi, I'm Jim W6LG for Ham Radio Basics. Welcome to my radio room here on Wolf Mountain. One of the things that uh, my neighbor asked me about the other day was FT8. And I thought he meant an island off of Africa that's uh, on the DXCC list. But actually, he was asking me about a mode of transmission called FT8, a, a digital mode. Never heard of it at that point. And then it seemed like everybody I talked to locally uh, at coffee or something was discussing FT8 and how much fun they were having with it. So, sure enough, uh, another guy asked me about it, and that was Marty, uh, Marty Lane OH2BH. And he asked if I could get on FT8. Uh, Marty said that he's going to go on a de-expedition to, uh, to Market Reef. And if I could get on FT8, maybe I could work him uh, from here to there, which is, I don't know, five, six, seven thousand miles. So, I'm going to try to get on FT8. Not sure what's involved in hooking it up. Once I get it going, and I'll film some of that, uh, video it. Once I get it going, I want to do a test to see just how efficient this thing is. Because it seems to have taken on uh, these uh, almost, uh, I don't know, an, an impossible... Uh, guys are telling me they're working the world with, with just a few watts and... and um, with really compromised antennas, and I, I don't know how that's possible. There, yeah, there are some digital modes that are really good, but just how good is, just how good is FT8? So to do that, um, my first thought was, well, I could run low power. Uh, yeah, the antennas I have for 20 meters, for example, are Yagi's, and I can put up a vertical in the backyard, or maybe a dipole. But I know a dipole is pretty efficient antenna, and uh, a vertical properly installed can do fairly well too. So I want to I want to make this challenging. So one of the things I thought about was using a mobile antenna, like a stick antenna, for 20 meters and putting it on a mount, putting it in the backyard. And then I thought, well, how about if I use a two meter antenna? Can I match a two meter antenna on 20 meters? I sort of don't think that's possible, but I can give it a try. Then it occurred to me that when I was a novice in 1963, most of us went to the hardware store and bought <clears throat> what was called a um, keyless porcelain uh, light socket. And you'd screw a light bulb into it, and that would be your dummy load. So you could tune your transmitter into the dummy load and then switch to the antenna. Now the light bulb, uh, the light bulb, I don't know what the impedance is of the light bulb. It could be huge. Um, I suspect it's actually low. But how about if I use a light bulb? I go on FT8 and I use a light bulb. And so to that end, I've made a light bulb dipole. And if I can reach it, that's my light bulb dipole. It's not really a dipole, but we'll call it that for now. So this is my light bulb dipole, and I'm going to go on FT8 with it. So how much could this radiate? Well. I don't know. It's maybe... There's not much in there that radiates. There's some parallel lines and they probably don't radiate the filament. I doubt that it would radiate at all because it's it's taking the energy and turning it into white heat. So I, I talked with a couple of engineers uh, and some other guys and we've come to the conclusion that if I put 100 watts into it, it might radiate a milliwatt. And not all that well. Uh, and the feed line losses will be huge because the, let's say the impedance of the antenna is, I don't know, uh, really low. Uh, the SWR to the feed line is going to be really high. And I'll match it with one of these tuners and uh, see how that goes. Anyway, how far can I talk on a light bulb dipole? Well, we're going to find out. So I'm going to hook this up, be back in, uh, I hope, not too long, and uh, start the machine again, and we'll, we'll go from there. Anyway, uh, stick around back in a few, what'll be just a jump cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, well, that wasn't so easy. The hookup of the transceiver to the computer was really pretty easy. You need um, a line out and a line in, and the K3 fortunately has those connections on it. Uh, I looked at my FT450, it also does, and I have a line in and line out, and the data port in the back 
So I made up a cable for that. So I'm gonna, I may end up with the, uh, the Yaesu, it's over there, the Yaesu FT450 as the um, um, uh, FT8 uh, transceiver. Uh, I looked at the um, ICOM 7000. It doesn't have a serial connection in the back and it needs that level control thing, which I don't think I have. Anyway, it looks like with most transceivers to connect FT8 won't be that hard. The subject of this video is not how to hook up FT8, but how far can it transmit or how far can it receive? Um, I don't know. Uh, the answer to each of those is, or both of those is going to be probably not very far. I had a hell of a time uh, loading up the uh, light bulbs on 20 meters. Uh, with the LDG tuner, it wouldn't match. It just sat there looking at me. Um, with the um, this big Nye Viking uh, antenna tuner, it wouldn't match. Uh, not even close. The um, uh, Elecraft KAT500 antenna tuner wouldn't do it either in automatic or manual mode. So what I ended up using um, was the tuner behind me, which is an old Drake MN2000. The reason why I like that tuner and I haven't given it up is really ridiculously high mismatches, it can, it can match. And what makes it work better than most things is it has a, a, a de-arsenal meter in it. So as you tune that thing, you just see a little bit of a dip and then you know you're on your way. So back and forth, back and forth. And I got it down to about 1.5 to 1, 1 1.4 to 1 uh, match. So um, it, it is going to be the antenna. What I'm going to do is there's a window, north window behind me. I'm going to, and there's an air conditioner in that window. Uh, it's about 90 degrees in this room right now and it's um, 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to put the um, antenna in the room, not outside, and I'm going to set it on the um, top part of that uh, air conditioner and put it right in the window. That window faces due north. So how far can I be heard? And to help figure this out, I've set up a schedule with um, Phil W6PD for tomorrow, and we're going to meet and see uh, if he can hear me. Uh, I don't know if they can. Phil is maybe four miles away um, at a one milliwatt or two milliwatts. That's, that would be pretty tough. Uh, 